I understand you have a book coming out telling people how to survive a recession. What, what made you, I know you're known as an economically uh, frugal rapper. Right. Tell us a little bit about that. What makes you qualify to write a book like this? Oh uh, man, it's just really like, um, it came from me doing the song, How to Run, off of my album, Boss of Our Bosses. I said in the second verse, I said, I'm writing a book, How to Survive in a Recession. You know, it's just me talking, I was just happy. So everybody got to ask me, when the book coming out, when the book coming out. So, you know, I'm a hustler, so of course I'm trying to think of how can I make this happen. So I just started writing like different tips to save money, you know what I'm saying, and how I stack bread, you know, just different. I do the same, it's just like on Twitter, you know, I tweet stuff like that. So then um, I was just uh, running at the park and I met this girl, and I was like, let's go to Cafe Express, you know, for a meal or whatever. You know, we chilling. She said she a publisher. I ran into the idea. Next thing you know, she come to my house a couple times to record it. And we done. Got a book coming out. So, why are you a? Uh, what have you observed about other artists that made you be more frugal with your money? Because you know, a lot of artists are known for making a lot of money and then going bankrupt or yeah. NFL players, or whatever. You just, you just, you see, it's a lot of acting involved. You know what I'm saying? You know, even on video sets, you just see how people act, you know what I'm saying? It's really an act. And then, and they do that, they take it to the club too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it ain't on, it ain't on the, um, the label budget all the time, so it's like, they get used to it. And once you get to make it, once you to make it rain, King, you gotta throw uh, 10,000 every time you hit the club or you fill out. You know what I'm saying? Or right, once you to, the, the dude who popped the most bottles, you gotta keep popping them until you go broke, you know what I'm saying? Or keep it coming. If you ain't getting paid, but you was getting paid when you was popping them bottles, you still gotta keep it going or you fell out. So, you know, I just ain't about that life. I ain't never been about that life. My whole mentality is hustle. Everything I do is hustle. It's like I'ma spend the least and make the most on whatever I do. It's like a game. It's like playing PlayStation. I always trying to win, you know what I'm saying? If you win, you're going to the next level. It's just, that's just how I look at it, so. So I heard that you, uh, like mm -hmm. when you give gifts to friends and family for different occasions, you set a, a price limit to that gift giving, is that true? Sometimes I do. It's just like that, man, you know, I'm just, everybody know I'm frugal like that, you know what I'm saying? So I no big deal. Man. So what are some of the tricks to still look successful? Because, I mean, you don't look like, you know, you don't look broke. So what are some of the tricks to looking successful without spending a lot of money? It's just, you know what I'm saying, making good investments, you know, making, spending a lot of money on stuff you can get money back from. That's the main thing. Like, don't go too crazy and rent, you know, you know a bunch of cars and you're just paying these notes or, you know, paying all these bills. And it's just, it ain't it ain't going towards nothing. When I bought cars, I bought them, you know what I'm saying? I had the title, so when I sell it, me being Slim Thug, I might sell it to a fan, or sell it to somebody who look up to me in the streets and get damn near it, not what I paid or not more for the car. So every time I switched up the cars, that's why I switched them up so fast, because they were paying for I'm just switching them up, making sure I ain't taking no big losses. You know what I'm saying? Keeping the money there. You know, and same thing with jewelry. You know, some cool come out, you know, some cool get rid of it for it out, you know, just be ahead of the curve. Stay switching it up and you're gonna stay getting what you you know, at least some of what you spend back. So I, I understand you gave Mike Jones some financial advice when he first started popping what, what was some of that advice and did he take it? I just tell him what I just told y'all, like even whatever, you know, like I ain't just jumping to nothing, I ain't just go out there buy a phantom, I bought a, you know, uh, whatever, and just kept upgrading, and, you know, that's, that's how you do it. Don't try to just jump out there, you know, just pace yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I buy, I, when I buy jury, I ain't had the best jury at first, you know, it was just, you keep upgrading, you keep trading in, upgrading, you know, so ain't no use of you having 50 watches and you only gonna buy one, you know, no use of you having 50 chains, you only gonna buy one, no use of you having no big old mansion and it's just you, you know. I made mistakes and at the same time. I learned from them. Or sometimes I seen them from other people, you know, and I learned from their mistakes. I just, you know, play the game like a hustle, man. That's all it is. Alright, so when does the book come out and where can people find it? July 27th.
book will be in stores. Or it ain't in stores, matter of fact, it's an e-book. So, you know, save you some paper, you know what I'm saying? You can just get it on your e-book, download it. We got a party going on at the Drake, July 27th. You know, we're just representing how to survive in a recession. It's for the hustlers, man. This ain't for people who don't care. So I, I know people got to go pick the book up to, to hear all your tips, but can you give us like one or two? One or two tips on how to survive a recession from the book. Mm -hmm. That's free. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. It's just like a lot of different tips. Honestly, I don't just know I'm off the head, but but it, don't think it's just about that though. You know, so if you already on the head, it ain't just all about how to survive in a recession. You know, I had to add other stuff to the book. I got uh, just different different topics about my different thoughts on a lot of different things. A um, game on how to make money in the music business. Uh, a little bit about my life, like you know what I'm saying? It's just a fun book. It ain't that serious, huh? You know, if you follow me on Twitter, you understand what I'm saying when I say fun. It's reckless. It's like in my voice. So is it kind of like your your daily show? Um, yeah, it's clip has like a little my humor daily to it. Show. So don't get it. Don't get in there and think you're gonna just go and sit down like you're talking to an accountant and that you're talking to Slum Thug for real. It's crazy. It was funny. So is there is there anything that you uh, that you don't watch your spending on? Do you have any any uh, luxury purchases you've made lately? Uh, I like cars. Like I said, but I get money back from it. I bought me a new Maserati uh, last month, you know. But like I said, I got rid of the Porsche. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. It ain't like I spent nothing, no real money. I got my money back. I ain't spending shit really. So that's the hustle. Awesome. That's what's up. So any any last words? How to survive in a recession. Make sure you get that book, man. Support your boy. It's on ebook. We might press up a few copies or whatever. Like I said, we just coming together and we made this happen pretty fast. We ain't really press up our books, but we will probably. But get it out the ebooks. I represent. And it's how like.